Mr. Mahoney. Yes, ma'am. Islamophobia, which is defined as anti-Muslim hysteria, is constantly on the rise in North America. Like anti-Semitism and other forms of racism, Islamophobia hurts us all, which needs to be addressed and condemned publicly. What would you do to reduce the negative stereotyping of Muslims in Mississauga? If elected, will you make addressing and curbing Islamophobia publicly a part of your mandate, yes or no? Uh, 90 seconds. So, so you said, what would I do? Well, I would talk about it openly. I have here today that level of racism that I think exists, but I don't think it's only Islam. I think there's racism in many areas of our city. However, what we see on the news too often these days is ISIS and the beheadings and the terrorism and planes being shot out of the air. We need to stand up and tell our citizens, you know, that Islam is not the only religion that has had some violence. I know as a Catholic growing up, there were popes who actually murdered people. I know that every religion in the world, in fact, wars are generally fought due to two things, either too much nationalism or too much religion. We need to celebrate the peace that Islam brings to our city. And I would have no qualms as a white Irish Catholic descendant of standing up in front of anybody and everybody. And see, I don't say one thing to the Muslim community and another thing to the Croatian community and another thing to the Irish community. I say the same thing to everybody. I tell the truth because it's easy as heck to remember. That's job one. So I would simply go out, I would go out and give, have speaking engagements, I would involve our youth, I would go to the schools, I would work as a white Irish Catholic descendant of, of an immigrant to tell people that Islam is indeed a religion of peace, that it functions in this city. And you, you took away my closing with that applause and that is a most amazing religion of family orientation. So I salute you. Thank you, Mr. Mahoney. Ms. Crombie, 90 seconds. Well, you won't hear anything different from me because I concur. You are a people who are peaceful and you are family oriented. And I thank you because I know that you have many children as well and our birth rate is so low, so I thank you for that too. It is a wonderful thing. <laughs> thank you. But you know, these experiences um, will be addressed through education and through time. You know, you live shoulder to shoulder. You live, work, pray, uh, shop next to people of other cultures and other religions and they see you for the good people you are and the positive influence that you have in the community. How many of our community leaders today are Muslim or Sikh or Hindu that are doing the park cleanups, that are doing the tree plantings, that are fundraising for our hospitals, fundraising for our schools to, to help support them? So as, a, as your mayor, I will continue with this education and preach openly about the positive work that you have done and stay positive and be active at your events to so the lead by example and by leadership just be present with you and demonstrate to demonstrate to the greater community that we support you that I support you and that they should support you too and I really think that over the next generation this will ease because the children I don't think feel it I think it's the people who are the new immigrants and first generation but your children I think have integrated closely with their 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 fellow citizens here in Mississauga and I don't think there's a difference and there won't be going forward. <clears throat> okay, we'll move on to our final question. Ms. Crombie, members of the Muslim community have questions about what you have each done for the Muslim community oh, okay. and why they should have your vote. Please comment on this. 90 seconds. Thank you. Thank you for this. This is a really important question because I want you to know that since before I entertained entering a career in politics, I have been actively engaged at our city in many community events, on many boards here, more boards um, here across the city. But when I did put my name forward, it was you that supported me. It was you that helped me get the nomination. It was you that helped me get elected. I have stood shoulder to shoulder with you, with many of you, whether it was in 2008 during the earthquake, or packing boxes in 2010 during the flooding so that, so that blankets and needed equipment and medical supplies could be sent back to Pakistan. I've attended your fundraisers. I have donated money personally. Meadowvale Islamic Center, I have always supported and continue to support, and we have to get that masjid built. I have supported El Farouk with their parking issues. I have sub supported Cooper's Mosque, Jama Masjid, in my word, and of course, always um, Isna and all the mosques. Um, 
Um, I have opposed the on-street uh, parking ban. As I told you, I agree that it's discriminatory. There are other ways that we can approach this, working with the management to ensure that people don't break the laws. So I have to, oh, I helped many of you as a member of parliament with, Im with immigration issues and visas. And, and I have all told you that I've walked the talk. When, whenever I have had an opportunity, I have appointed a person of diversity to sit on our agencies, boards, and commissions. And I will continue to do so. I'm advocating for people of diversity Thank to you, be Ms. on council today. Thank you, Ms. Crombie. Mr. Mahoney, 90 seconds. I actually thought it was me that helped her win the nomination, but aside from that. <laughs> and I hope you'll continue to support I, my political uh, career yeah, too, Yeah, right. Steve. I'll continue to support. <laughs> if you want to run for a nomination, count me in. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> 30 years ago, I worked with a gentleman named Zaid Zafar, who's passed away, and together I helped him build the first Muslim school in Mississauga. My friend criticizes that I was on council 30 years ago, so I'm out of touch today. Well, it's not true. Well, that's true. I've been actively involved. Oh, it's true I was on council, but I'm not well, out of touch. 30 years ago is a long time. And <laughs> I've been actively involved in the community at every level, provincially and federally, and I've always met with, with great friends in the Muslim community. Javed Hussein is a man who I grew to respect. I went to Pakistan with Javed and his wife, Naz, and Naz is an honorary chair of my campaign. Um, he passed away at 54 years old. I was there when he died. Yep. Broke my heart. Died of cancer yep. at Credit Valley. Gul Nawaz ran against me once, another great Muslim friend. He used to stand up at the all-candidates meetings and say, I don't have a problem with Mr. Mahoney. I think he's a very good representative. I'm running against his government. So then I would get up and say, I want to thank Mr. Nawaz for the endorsement. <laughs> And we got along just fine. He was a gentleman, a first-class first class gentleman. So, you know, what have I done? I mean, I have been accessible. I have worked with people of every community. I also respect the fact that while there are clearly specific issues that relate Thank you. to the Muslim community, Thank you, Mr. Mahoney. you care about everything Thank else you. in our city. Ms. Crombie, 30-second rebuttal. Well, there's not too much to add because certainly I love David Hussein as well. And while Naz is a supportive of you, she's also a friend and a supporter of mine, as are Sophie and Abid. They're actually on my campaign. So family divided between the two of us. I'm also blessed to have incredible co-chairs from the Muslim community. And I'm sure you're going to get a letter from them all on your way out. And people like uh, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed Feki, who is uh, one of the most inspiring new entrepreneurs of our community who has stepped up to serve as my campaign honorary co-chair. I'm so honored and so blessed. And I'm just here to say that I have worked shoulder to shoulder Thank with you, you for seven years Thank today, Thank not you. 30 years ago. Mr. Mahoney, 30-second rebuttal. No, I'm fine. You're good? 